Hello everyone, and welcome back to Reyes, where we are continuing with our tutorial on human greed, here with our brand new little village of Lemuran, who has decided that they actually want to go to war with Hammer Valley, our little swamp village, because they have become extremely greedy. They're going to cause some mischief. I have no idea how we are going to solve this. This is going to be really important to witness. So check the greed. Select the village and view the village panel and you can see how much greed your village has. They are all greedy geese. I give them one nice agate field and some strawberries and the next thing you know they just want the world. This is the thanks I get you guys. This is absolutely ridiculous honestly. <gasps> all right unpause the game. Witness how the village falls into complete chaos. Oh boy. Oh boy, run little stoats, warn the others. So, oh no, look, they've gathered for war. Punish the village. This new greedy village is beyond saving. Destroy them. Um, oh, uh, I guess, okay. How dare you? We shall shatter your homes. Oh my gosh. The vengeance of justice of the planet is upon thee. Uh, I guess we can grab this like ambassador while we're here though. There you go, dude. You can come with us. Oh my gosh, I destroyed the village. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, I didn't finish destroying it. And oh no, they're destroying the other village. Oh chaos. Oh drama. Oh my gosh, it takes effort to raise the mountains. Oh jeez Louise, we're gonna we're gonna work together. We're raising from your greed, your greedy hearts have produced a swampy mountain where your greed was transformed into sorrow. Dun dun dun. Well done. One village stood tall and strong while the other's greed led to its own destruction. Achieve new developments by having the village develop in different directions. In doing so, you will unlock new plants, animals, minerals, and projects. Maybe, one day, the humans will be able to take care of you while you slumber. Oh boy. Oh my. Well? Okay! We have destroyed the village. We learned that they can be a threat to the land because I need connections to healthy villages to nurture the spirit of the planet. Um, but that didn't really tell me how to cope with the awe factor, to be honest, or how to cope with their greed. Think carefully about where you position the giants. Time can be of an essence and your giants must cover a great distance. So, all right guys, we have actually just finished all of the tutorials and now we are going to dive in and simply trust that time and trial will allow us to learn new ways of life on our planet. So these are the different kinds of developments that you can actually do. I achieved a ton of them back in the past when I was a younger Siri and now we are going to try to achieve some different developments. Among them, you can try to do things like having a forest village with 500 prosperity, a swamp village with 500 prosperity. We only got to see our villages in the very early days of their life, before the buildings began to rise up high into the skies, before they began to really take on project after project. We could also do a divided planet, finish an era with at least six villages who all have 150 prosperity, or, we could do all of these things that you do. You get three uh, developments to aim for, basically. And then once you achieve that one, you only have to achieve one uh, in order to kind of complete everything. Like Fantastic Era, Finish an Era with 1600 Prosperity, Mining Era, or Mining Community, Finish an Era in with a village that has 250 Village Prosperity and only uses mines and, and minerals to get that prosperity within their village borders. We could also do a Hunter Community, which would be having a 250 Village Prosperity that only uses animals. Uh, or, you know, world economy where we can get some great profits, mountain town, abundant world, rich world, advanced world, survivor, which has danger, great vitality, which I didn't even know is a thing, 
Like there's so many different things that you can do. Overgrowth, treasury, nuclear energy. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know half these things were things. Canyon City, that sounds amazing. Grand Era, modern agriculture. Royalty? Yeah, I've never even heard of some of these. So this is really amazing. Uh, Utopia, ancient civilization, diverse town. What? Let's start with forest city and swamp city. I kind of want to do, oh, I kind of, to be honest, I kind of want to do the mining community one that only uses minerals or the hunter community that only pursues animals. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do, just to get us started, the forest and swamp city. Let's try building a really cool swamp city. That sounds amazing. So now we have a, a time limit usually. Let's get the water down. But I do believe, yeah, we have 30 minutes. So we have a time frame to get this done. So let's get the swamp down. And then I'm gonna come over and maybe raise a mountain or two. And then let's actually have a forest on this side. So let's get a forest here. And we're gonna spread another ocean over here and see if we can get that going. But there we go, so now we already have a swamp. So let's go for the swamp era, a village that has 500 prosperity. Uh, and let's put down some exotic animals. Let's get some herbs. Cause I, I hope we can, let's put that there. Cause I'm hoping if we get some herbs and maybe some exotic animals down. Cause I want to transmute it, but can I transmute yet? I can! <gasps> look, and there's our little village humans, yay! And look, we have a desert over here. A swamp village has settled. Swamp villages often start projects that require technology. Try using advanced minerals and herb plants within the village borders. So they like, they really love technology, these swampy guys. Uh, so let's get some more herbs. I think the minerals are gonna be really important too. Let's see, advanced minerals. The rock giant makes a mineral rise from the ground. Precious minerals provide tech. So we can provide wealth with the precious minerals or we can provide tech with the advanced minerals. And our village has already decided a school. This village wants to build a school for their children. Cooking classes. And so their specialization this time. Oh, and a new nomad is ready to settle. Okay. Well, whew, I can hardly, like, give me a second, my friends. Can I put down domestic animals by the water? Let's see if we can get that done while I look at what the school wants. So this time, instead of focusing on the tomatoes for that tomato festival swampy, like, village that we had, this school wants to specialize in cooking classes. So it gives plus 10 food and five tech for each plant within the border, and it will stack three times. So we want more plants. Uh, including plants that, let's see, did I give leaf aspect? Oh, but I needed a lesser, lesser growth aspect, so that's not gonna help that peppermint whatsoever. Um, let's add a plant over here. Let's add a plant over here, so they can really get a huge boost on food. And, oh, fishes! I added mackerel! Holy mackerel, you guys! What? That's so cool! A forest village has just settled. This is fun. And they're separated by a little, um, they're separated by a, a wee bit of, ooh, look at this, Aurora. Ooh. Oh, I can heal my other giants with an Aurora from the water giant. I really hope we don't get attacked by our own people. That would be quite distressing. So we need, uh, oh, and the granary challenge has started with these guys. So these guys get the gatherers plus 15 food for each plant within the border. Holy cow, these guys really want plants. So let's come over and put down some plants then. A swamp ambassador has finally appeared. The heck? We've barely even had any time to think about that. I think we'll give him to the ocean giant so that we can try. Oh, the forest giant can migrate, allowing us to move natural sources around. <gasps> That would be really important, but I think we'll give it to the ocean giant to get the herd aspect, perhaps. Hmm, or the swamp giant for the toxic aspect? Oh, it is so hard to decide. All right, where was I sending, what was I having that guy do? Fertility boost, upgrades any patch with a fertility boost. Interesting. Oh, we're putting down some more plants. 
in the forest because our we, we either need 500 prosperity in the forest or the swamp and these guys that's a really cool thing that they get plus 15 food for each plant and grove if i can make another plant with lesser leaf aspect who has lesser leaf aspect growth aspect exotic aspect toxic aspect who has the lesser leaf aspect is it this guy so if i upgrade this can i make strawberries I can make strawberries! Wonderful! And then if I put the blueberries right here, they'll get even more food. Boom! Look at that. Now they're going to have 57 food. So these guys are going to meet their quota that they want in absolutely no time. And let's get some herbs over here too, because they'll actually get a boost from any plant. That's so cool. And I want more fish. Give me more fish. And then let's go pick up that ambassador because we completed the school project. Plus 10 food and tech for each plant in the borders. Uh, and I do want to try upgrading. Oh, and if we put an animal nest next to this, it will actually give us more food. So should we replace the peppermint? Hmm. I don't think so. But I do want to replace the elderberry then. What do we get over here? Dandelions! We made dandelions over in the forest area and its taproot will give us tech and nature. Oh, this is so fun. You just never quite know. Oh, and a forest ambassador is here now. Holy canoodles. And he will give the fruit aspect to the forest giant, which will allow us to upgrade the food to provide even more food. Or the ocean giant could have the crystal aspect, giving us wealth and awe. The rock giant could have the exotic aspect, which gives wealth to animals. And the swamp giant could have the reaction aspect, which is like chemical plants. So I think what we're going to do is I want that herd aspect. So we're going to snag that guy. And then I'm going to have the fruit aspect with the forest ambassador. And there she is. She is the ambassador of the forest. She'll be coming to join our giant. And now we can use the fruit ability on plants or like the uh, fruit aspect. So can I use that? Not on the dandelions. Can I use it? Oh, I can make apple trees. Holy canoe. Holy canoodle. Oh, that's exciting. So... I think that has to be like potent. So let's go ahead and put like this over here. We're gonna we're gonna try making apple trees now. This is so cool. Five hundred prosperity might be kind of tricky. Let's upgrade with the fruit aspect. It looks like one of your villages getting is getting quite greedy. The greedier a village is, the more likely they are to attack other villages. Remember that greed grows if a village grows too fast. You can stop greed from growing by having enough danger within the borders, but too much danger will destroy a village. Oh, and danger comes with exotic animals, my friends. You can use awe, which allows a village to grow faster without getting greedy. You can read more details. Uh, okay, so we probably wanna work on getting the awe up then. So these guys will stop being little greedy so-and-sos. Oh, and that's interesting. When I made it into an apple tree, I actually lost a ton of the food that they were gaining. Huh, because I probably broke one of the symbioses somehow. Noted. Meanwhile, over here, how do I add awe? Let's look at ways that we can add awe, which I think tech uh, marshmallows marshmallows can create a perfect ecosystem with animals giving more tech and awe well i guess i could put down upgrades an animal with herd aspect let's add in animals over here and let's see what happens so let's put down some animals in the swamp and then let's try upgrading them because animals also there we go we have frogs Insect eater plus two food if next to an elderberry. Uh, well, they're not right next to an elderberry. If and plus one, and so I put them in the wrong spot for that. But if we give them the lesser herd aspect, we can make them otters. <gasps> or if we give them the lesser exotic aspect, they could have been iguanas. But let's go ahead and give, make them otters. This is so fun. It's very much trying to watch and see how you can work with all of the different puzzle pieces. There are now otters! Look at that! 
I think they're providing a lot more food. Yeah, their nest is symbiosis gives plus three food if next to a plant. And we could make them into cranes. I really want to make something that gives awe. Hmm. Which I think minerals really do. Like the precious minerals. So let's come over here and we'll take out this apple tree. And we'll try making some awe now. And then let's also come over here. And we'll try making the ocean just one touch bigger because I'm, I'm missing a patch right here. And we'll try spreading the forest and the swamp slightly. And I think if I add in exotic animals over here, we can try to make these exotic animals kind of dangerous because you can upgrade them to be more dangerous exotic. So what's an exotic animal in the forest going to be? The stoats! And if we add the fox with the lesser predator aspect, then it will actually, foxes give more wealth with the more small animals they can hunt on, but it will probably also actually add a little bit of danger. So you can see how all of these things start building on top of each other. You can see how all of the different aspects start kind of working with one another, uh, which is quite fun to be honest. Ah, I forgot I had him coming <laughs> to put in some wealth. So that startled me. Can I get awe? So if I get the lesser noble aspect or better, we can create bright caves next to plants, which gives awe and salt with the, the lesser size matic aspect, which will make people a little bit uh, less greedy with what they're doing. Holy cow, we're about to run out of time like already. This is so fun, but you can definitely see already how this could be quite challenging. Uh, and yes, indeed it is. And we are actually ready for new nomads to come on in. Gotta be careful. But the nomads also help because as the different villages put out their different projects, we are able to get those ambassadors and unlock more of our abilities for our titans. So we'll have to see how all of this plays out. I have to be very careful with my greedy village and I have to be very careful with the fact that we are, um, you know, adding in food. Here comes another village coming to settle down already. Let's put down oh, another forest village. Oh dear, I hope that they don't fight too much. This is going to be quite interesting. But all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. This is only the beginning of all sorts of exciting explorations that we are going to be doing as we figure out how to kind of have our villages work with one another, not against one another. The shrine challenge has started. The university challenge has started as we get more projects, as we really try to help them all thrive. This is going to be a lot of fun. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like in the hopes that our new little villages won't destroy one another. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, guys, stay curious. Bye-bye.